Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. And in fact, if you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you know that we are talking about some new light in the sky, because two days ago, we had a solar eclipse at nine degrees of Taurus. And that's why the title of tonight's show is Finished. And that is because the number nine does represent finishing. It's the highest of all the single digit numbers and it is governed by the sign of Virgo. And Virgos are very conscientious about finishing things up and making sure that every little detail is followed or every procedure is followed exactly. So they are very reliable and dependable people. And they are very good at time management and at being efficient as well as being productive. So keep those things in mind because that's got something to do with being finished too. And the reason why is this is a solar eclipse and solar eclipses always denote new beginnings. Well, that's great. So what could be finished? Well, since Taurus is a fixed financial sign and the sun, the exalted moon, and Mercury were all in Taurus, it simply means that there can be a lot of thought applied to how to make more money. Why would you need to do that? Maybe your past lifestyle is finished, or maybe you can't quite afford the high cost of living anymore, and there could be a need to downsize or uh, be a little bit uh, more uh, conscientious about your budget. Or it can simply be that some way of investing your, either your time or your money is not as lucrative as it used to be, or else this could also be a very good time to sell an investment, and that could finish something off in your life as well. But uh, the finishing right now simply means that you're ready to face reality, and the earth signs are very good at that, so the emphasis is on practical problem solving, and on making more money. And that is because you just can't go on living on credit or you just can't go on being extravagant when you really don't have any uh, thing to back that up with. And it probably isn't as appreciated as you think anyway. And so those three planets in Taurus were being fortified and trined by a fourth planet in an Earth sign, and that is Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto rules powerful people in large government agencies or in corporations who are capable of making policy or changing policy. And Pluto uh, and Capricorn also rules pension plans and long-term security. Those three planets in Taurus that are trining Pluto and Capricorn means that there's a very good emphasis on long-term security right now. So it can be that if you've been indulging yourself in any way, whether it's your health you've been indulging in, or whether it is um, investments, or whether it is the kind of job you're in right now, you might want to redo something or finish something off in terms of what your long-term security needs are. Maybe you're willing to think a little bit more long-term now, and that's a good idea because people who have money are thinking that way too. And that is because those four planets trine Virgo. Remember, the new moon is at nine degrees, and that's the number that rules Virgo. Virgo also rules the sixth house of employment and health and being of service to others. It rules accounting and nursing and teaching, and it rules diet and nutrition, and it certainly rules the whole healthcare field. And so this is a time when people have got to get real practical about the cost of things. And when costs are too high, then you've got to call it quits. You gotta quit spending money. And this is also a very good time to save more money for your long-term security. So something is finished, and what I think is finished is sort of the high life, or it is um, the big money that I think may be gone. And speculating or gambling on things. No, that would not be a good idea right now because we've really got to live within our means or within our budget or even below our means in order to save money as well. And so that's the good outcome of this solar eclipse. It's just you got to sort of finish being too extravagant first in one way or another. 
There are also four uh, planets in, there are four planets in the Earth signs. There are also four planets in the water signs. And that is because Jupiter in Cancer is trining Venus and Neptune in uh, Pisces. And together they are trining Saturn in Scorpio, which is the other fixed financial sign. And so there can be a lot of sympathy and help and support, particularly for people who are less fortunate or for others who want to make their dreams come true and maybe they've got a shoestring budget to do it on but they can get help from family members and friends and so there's quite a bit of empathy going on behind the scenes or help that isn't necessarily people aren't necessarily broadcasting it but they are being very very helpful to other family members and friends and so you can make it if you have to lower your standards a little bit or pull in your belt on your budget there can still be people that can help you out and be very sympathetic to you and so that's wonderful because that could help promote a move of yours if you're thinking of making one so the four planets and earth signs and the four planets and water signs are very harmonious. Earth and water are harmonious. They need each other. But there are also four planets in the cardinal signs and they are harshly aspecting each other by squaring and opposing each other. And so there are some people that still are sticking to their own point of view and refusing to compromise in any way. And that can build a lot of pressure and put a lot of pressure on you or on others. And that is probably not going to get anybody anywhere. And so that whole idea of, well, if we've always done it this way before and we're not going to change, that might have to, that shows a refusal to consider new things. And for that reason, that can really make it a little hard on people right now. If you want to get around that, then go to your friends and your family members. They'll be more sympathetic or else you can get real practical about your budget and just do a big revamping of it. Since Taurus does rule investments, this would be a wonderful time if you own an investment to sell it. Why would you want to do that? One, you could probably still get a good price for your investment, so this would be a good time to sell. And with the money, and the profit from your investment, you could pay down your bills, get your budget in a lot better shape, and still have something left over to go forward on. So you might try to think about that, because remember, it is a solar eclipse. And if you sold an investment, maybe that's the money you could use to go ahead and start your own business, or to travel, or to go back to school. It's just that you really need the cash in hand. And that is why we have to be real realistic about our assets, our investments, how we spend our time, and what uh, it all means to our long-term security. So there should be some good problem solving going on this week. And if you're finished with something, then that's fine because this is a time of a new beginning anyway. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, I think that yours, since yours is a cardinal sign, you certainly can be sticking to your point of view right now. And you may be deciding that the pressure from other people who are doing the same thing, so they're not agreeing with you, can be great enough that you may decide you just want to start off in a new direction. That's a very good idea. And if you decide to do that, Aries, I think your motivation is going to be financial. And that is because that new moon in Taurus is right ahead of your sun sign. This is a good time for you to think about making more money. And whatever your skill set is, it probably is worth more money than you're getting. And so if you wanted to try to go in a new direction that uh, put a few more pennies in your pocket, that would be a good idea. This is also a good time for you to sell an investment. And that could solve a lot of problems, Aries. So you could be thinking of your long-term security, and this is an excellent time for you to be doing that, but not by sticking to where you are, simply by trying something new and something that is more lucrative. And I think the timing's perfect on that right now. And it gets you away from being in an intractable situation that is not going to improve. And the reason why is the planets in the other cardinal signs are not moving. And so you're stuck, Aries, and now would be an excellent time to look for greener pastures because I think you could find them. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, 
the solar eclipse was in your sign. Congratulations, Taurus, because that simply means that not only can you be finished with something, but you, that's all right with you, I think, because you can start something new as well. And that is because the sun and the moon, which is exalted in your sign, and Mercury were all in your sign and being beautifully trined by uh, Pluto in Capricorn, and they were also trining the sign of Virgo, which rules employment and service to others. So if you are finished with some sort of lifestyle that hasn't really been getting you anywhere, then that's a good idea. You should be finished with it, Taurus. And if you have an investment that is worth more, this would be an excellent time to sell it. And the reason why is that it sort of gives you a new lease on life. It could pay, help you pay down your bills. It could relieve you of an expensive burden that has just, is just going to keep getting more expensive. So you could just be seeing your money be drained in that respect. And for that reason, if you sold something and got your hands on the cash, you could put yourself in a much more solid financial position and think of the opportunities that are ahead of you, Taurus. You could certainly move, and you may want to do that because the moon is exalted in your sign and it does rule real estate. And so this is an excellent time for you to move. You could probably get a good price for what you already own, but then you may want to downsize once you sell, or you may want to have your costs a little bit lower so that you have much more financial freedom and time to spend as you would like, because you could also open a business of your own. So there's all kinds of pretend, a potential for you, Taurus, once you realize that something's over. And, and you know, if you're thinking of your long-term security, then that is why you should be making some sort of practical change. But it also has to do with being more productive and more healthy. Remember that solar eclipse trines Virgo. And it can also mean that if you have less on your plate, but it will mean more to you, and you can manage it a little bit better without so much worry or stress. So take the stress off if you want, Taurus, because this is an excellent solar eclipse for you. And this can allow you to make a beneficial change in your life, which can help solve a lot of problems for you. So I hope you do that. OK, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is simply a time with that new moon solar eclipse in Taurus right behind your sun that you probably have your mind on something rather pricey or expensive. And it could be a move. It could be something that you want to buy or purchase. Remember, your sign rules buying and selling. And so this would be a good time to consider that. If you have the money for that, great. But this is also a very good time to sell something. And that's because it could give you a sort of a, a little a nest egg there, Gemini. And that could help you move in a new direction. I think you are terribly bored in doing whatever you're doing now. I think you really are finished with whatever you're doing. No matter how much longer you do it, you're done with it. And that is why a lot of people are in a sort of a finished state right now. Either they are bored with what they're doing, or either they realize they cannot continue their lifestyle because it's too expensive, or else they just want to try their hand at something they'd love doing rather than just working for a paycheck and going through the motions. So this is a very good time for you to consider change. And that is what your sign rules anyway. And it can be motivated by some sort of financial opportunity that you could have behind the scenes, Gemini, either to sell something and get money for it, good money for it right now, or to start a new business of your own behind the scenes. And for that, you'd, you'd have to have more time to do that. So try to do something that finishes off what you don't want and allows you to start something that you do want. Because I think you can do that, Gemini. All right, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is an absolutely uh, excellent time for you to consider making a move. And the reason why is that the solar eclipse in Taurus did sextile your sun. And that simply means that there can be some opportunity around for you to redo your investments in a way that perhaps can help you downsize and simplify your life. It could still be an elegant way. You could still have a really nice place to live. But you may not need all the trappings that you have acquired in a lifetime 
cancer, and the reason why is that cancer rules thrift. So cancers save everything. If you went through and looked at everything that you own right now, you might be surprised that you're finished with an awful lot of it, cancer, or it has you've outgrown it in some way and you really don't need it in your life anymore. And for that reason, you should try to get rid of a few things. It also could relieve you of the burden of memories that you've outgrown and give you a sort of a new lease on life. So you really should consider that. While there are four wonderful planets in the um, water signs, by simplifying your life and perhaps downsizing and moving and um, maybe selling a good investment right now, it might help you make a dream come true as well. And that is because Venus and Neptune and Pisces are trining your sun where you have Jupiter. So yours is a cardinal sign and you too need to get out of an intractable situation that is not gonna get any better because nobody else will compromise. And since you don't like stress like that, Cancer, and you like to be sort of peaceful and you are home loving, why don't you try to change or shift in your life and give yourself a little bit more financial freedom to do what you want to do? It might mean that you have to live on a smaller budget, but you might be a lot happier as well and stress-free. Why don't you think about that, Cancer? All right, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is simply a time when uh, you really need to uh, be very, very careful about financial issues. And that is because the sun, uh, the exalted moon, and Mercury in uh, Taurus were squaring your sun, and Saturn in Scorpio is also squaring your sun, and those are the two fixed financial signs. So there are financial conditions in your life that are finished, Leo, and that simply means there can be debts around that you need to pay off or loans, or there can be uh, opportunities to make more money, but you may not be quite ready for those yet. Maybe you need to get a little bit more training or preparation for that. And so it, it can be that since your sign rules extravagance, that an extravagant lifestyle is over or spending money more the way you want it to be spent is over and that you have to pay much more attention to taxes, debts, loans, uh, credit situation, and the fact that there really isn't enough money coming in right now. I wouldn't make a big change right now, Taurus. I wouldn't take a gamble on anything. It won't work. It'll backfire. What you should do is think a little bit more about what your long-term security interests are and try to make some sort of adjustment to that. I think it's gonna be hard for you to do, but I do think that some sort of lifestyle that you've been enjoying is too expensive for you now and that you need to sort of trim back a little bit. It doesn't mean that things are bad, and in fact, by the end of the year, you're gonna have a great year, Leo, but this is a time when you really need to conserve your cash and you do, do need to plan a way to pay down debt in, and get out of it in one way or another. Or if costs are high, it would be a good idea if you could find somebody else to cover those costs instead of you. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is simply a time when you are really in the right place at the right time and you don't have to do anything else, Virgo. You have a track record that speaks for itself. And with four planets in Earth signs under this solar eclipse, all trining your sign, it simply means you could get a promotion or there could be more money coming your way because people want to invest in you. It can be that you've already had a really good idea that nobody was listening to before, but they may decide to go ahead and invest in it now. Or it could be that you yourself had an investment that is worth a lot more right now and you may consider selling it simply so you can uh, not have any uh, financial burden on your shoulders, that would be a good idea. I mean, if, if anybody can get their price on anything, they ought to do it while they can because the world is changing. And that way you would be, um, you would be more financially secure. Your long-term security is also assured right now, and it can be because people feel that you're worth more. So you may get a good job offer or certainly a promotion, and I think it's really headed your way. And that's because people can afford you. So don't sell at a low price, sell at a high price. And if you're talking about a raise, uh, go up 
not down, Virgo. And that way you'll be in a position to negotiate. And re just remember, they can afford you. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is simply a time since yours is a cardinal sign that it is you can be caught up with people who are refusing to budge and won't change their minds and simply won't compromise. But Libra, the good part is you've got the law on your side. So even if you are a target of dissension right now due to people's uh, strict attitudes, if you wanted to get around that, then what you would need to do is consider some sort of a change. Even a slight change will make you feel a lot better or one new friend will make you feel better. So I think that you are sort of finished with some situation where you are right now, Libra, and that you don't even want to try to get along with people anymore or you don't want to try to make peace because you can't do it. They, they're not willing. And so you've done your best, Libra. So leave, leave some problem alone right now. Instead, try to make some slight change or get a temporary part-time job or start developing a hobby that you really like right now. It'll take your mind off your troubles and make you feel great. And there could be more money in it down the road. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? <clears throat> well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you are, too are going to have to be very careful to just hang on to what you've got, Scorpio. And the reason why is you have Saturn in your sign and it is being harshly opposed by the Sun, Exalted Moon, and Mercury in Taurus under the solar eclipse. And that means somebody else wants to forge ahead and make money, or they want to make the big deals, or they really want to sort of go for broke right now. They want to work harder, and they want to work smarter. And you may not be willing to take any financial risks at all since Saturn is in your sign and it is a planet of doubt, but it also rules long-term security. I would say stick to your doubts, Scorpio, because this is not a time to overdo it at all or to take any kind of risks. And since that probably is how you feel, I would say that if you've got your mind on something high priced, wait a little bit. That price might come down and be closer to its true value uh, on an item. Or else you may not feel like risking anything right now. So I would just wait and think a little bit more about how to be economical. You wouldn't mind that. And there isn't any reason to really be extravagant right now. It's much better to try to gather as many assets together as you can or even sell a few of them in order to be in a good financial position and that means debt free. And so that's what you should be aiming for. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, this is simply a time when I think with that a uh, solar eclipse in Taurus so far away from your sun sign that you are probably going to have to just hang on to what you're doing and realize that something is finished in all of our lives. And what it could be for you, Sagittarius, is that with Saturn and Scorpio right behind your sun sign, it can be that you're finished spending money, that there isn't, you've run out and there are mounting bills and a credit could be a little iffy right now. And if you have any way to sort of get out from under by selling something that is costing you too much, you ought to do it, Sagittarius, because I think you need the cash. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a very good time for you because if you have an investment, I think it's gonna pay off pretty well. In other words, in, in something that uh, recognizes its value. So you should sell something right now if you can. And you should sell it to the highest bidder because it's worth it. So you have some sort of quality product or quality asset that you should try to do something with Capricorn while you can. And that means, I think, sell and get the money in your own pocket. Also, this is a wonderful time for you to improve your health, and that could be by being, watching your diet a little bit more closely and uh, just doing things that make a lot of sense, exercising and um, eating better foods and getting a lot of sleep. And you can sort of afford to do that right now, Capricorn, because I think that what's finished for you is trying to think, convince other people that you're right. They're not willing to be convinced, so give up. Uh, and that is because they refuse to change. And meanwhile, you can be sort of sitting pretty and able to solve problems. 
and have something that is really worth it to others. And that is why if you have something to market, you should. If you have something to sell, you should. Or to promote something. Because I think you could get a very good offer on something right now. And it would be worth good money, Capricorn. So I hope you don't pass it up. All right, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is simply a time when I think you have to be super cautious with money because there sure isn't going to be enough of it. And the reason why is that something is too expensive in your life, Aquarius. It can be a piece of real estate that is costing you too much, maybe because the taxes have gone up or the maintenance has gone up. So you do need to sell it. You cannot hang on to the past. And that is why you sort of need to finish something off right now, Aquarius. But that doesn't mean you can turn around and wildly spend money because there could be bills or debts that you need to pay off first. So I hope you concentrate on that. And I think your future is on hold until you get a financial matter off your back a little bit. And that's why you, you sort of need to think a little bit about downsizing if you can. OK, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces. This is a time with that new moon in Taurus sextiling your sun when you can have your mind on something pretty expensive, and it might be real estate. So you could be thinking of a move, Pisces, and it is rather well aspected. This is also a good time to sell an investment and to downsize because that would give you extra money to do what you want to do, Pisces. And I'm sure you've got some wonderful dream in mind that you would like to have financed in one way or another. So this is a very good time to move if you can, or at least save uh, more money for you to do that. It's also a good time for you to get a better job. And then that means you could afford a nice move too. So good luck on that, Pisces, as all of us now are finished with something. But that finishing or that ending simply is going to allow us to move forward in our future and create a new beginning that may assure us better long-term security, which is something we really need to think about now. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see our show on our website, starborninstitute.org. And if you subscribe on the website, it, you can see it at any time, day or night. Thanks a lot. Bye.